Hello, it is Tracy and I am back with day 30, 30, 30 of Ethany's 31 days of tarot. I didn't think I would make it y'all, really. I really didn't. I knew you would make it, but I didn't think I would. I am surprised that I, I am at day 30. <laughs> so the prompt for day 30 is what are my thoughts around tarot becoming mainstream? And my thoughts are the more, the merrier. I say bring everybody to the party, y'all. Um, I feel that having tarot more mainstream, the, the, the downside is yes, it it brings more fluff to the market. It brings more people who will just throw together something, call it a tar and call it a tarot deck, um, just to make a quick buck. And that's okay. You have that. At the end of the day, things that are built to last will last, and things that are not built to last won't. The fluff will fall out anyway. It's okay. It's perfectly okay. Um, but the benefits to having tarot be more mainstream, I feel, are multifold. Um, one of them is that it makes tarot more accessible, um, not only from a price perspective, but from an availability perspective, just, you know, if you see it in Walmart, or um, then it, it just makes it accessible. And um, the the good part of that is that a tarot is an amazing tool for self reflection. It is an amazing tool for learning how to listen to your own inner guides. It is an amazing tool for learning how to ask the right questions and then listen for the answer. It's an amazing tool for learning how to just write your thoughts and be still with your, your own thoughts. Um, and I feel that the more people in society use these types of self-reflection, reflective tools, the better we become as a society. Um, I, I don't see a downside to more people being self-reflective. I, I don't see a downside to that. Um, and tarot is a great tool for that. It's, it's transportable, you can take it with you, it's somewhat durable, um, it's easy to use. Um, and I also love that there are so many different communities being built around tarot and so many different um, ways that creators are envisioning and re-envisioning these million year old archetypes and making the archetypes accessible to a wider variety of people. And, um, and then people are building communities around that. And these are all things that are, that are good for us as a society. It just makes us better humans and we need all the better humans we can get. <laughs> and if tarot decks is a means to get us more better humans, then I say yes, yes. So that is my take on a tarot becoming mainstream. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, share them with me in the comments below. In the meantime, I will see you tomorrow for day 31. Woo! We're almost there, y'all. Have a great day. Bye.